In this video, I'm talking about something that could make your hearing aid sound more natural. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and Founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Think back a few years. Okay, maybe a few years even before that. Back to a time when you didn't have a hearing loss. Or dare I say back to a time when you had normal hearing? Because unless you were born with a hearing loss, there is likely a time in your life where you remember things sounding more natural. Even though I don't like the term normal hearing, technically the normal range of hearing is anything 25 decibels and less across the frequency range during a hearing test. If by some chance you can remember back to when you had this normal hearing, then you may recall what things sounded like when they sounded more natural. And this natural sound is what everybody's trying to get back to when they treat their hearing loss with hearing aids. Now everybody's perception of natural is different. My natural is different than your natural, your natural is different than somebody else's natural, Natural, but it doesn't change the fact that we are all actually looking for the most natural hearing possible. The problem is there are a variety of things that can prevent you from achieving natural hearing with hearing aids. First is the damage to your cochlea, otherwise known as your hearing organ. 90% of hearing losses are a result of damage that's inside of the hearing organ itself or along the auditory nerve that takes sound from your cochlea up to your brain. This creates a situation where even if we overcome your level of hearing loss with amplification, we're still stimulating a damaged hearing system. So even if you end up hearing great with your hearing aids, your ability to hear sounds naturally is diminished. Second is poor hearing aid programming. Now it should be no surprise to you at this point that if you don't get a hearing aid program correctly, you are not going to be hearing any better, let alone being able to hear naturally. If you don't get the right amount of amplification at the right frequency ranges for your hearing loss and then having them verified with real ear measurement, then your chance of hearing naturally again just isn't gonna be there. Third is the way that hearing aids process sound. Now hearing aids are very advanced pieces of technology that are designed to amplify sounds for you in the ranges of your hearing loss. But sometimes there can be so much digital processing that occurs that even though it's designed to give you audibility, it doesn't necessarily make sounds natural to you. However, this signal processing issue is something that Widex, today's video sponsor, is trying to fix with their new Moment line of hearing devices. The new Widex Moment hearing aids offer a completely new pathway of processing sound using the Pure Sound program which uses zero delay digital sound processing. You see, when processing and amplifying sound, you want the processed sound to be as close to the original incoming sound just at an amplified level so it's audible to you. However, there are several variables that come into play when trying to make this process sound as natural as possible, and one of those variables is the time delay of the process sound. The majority of individuals with mild to moderate hearing loss typically have good low frequency hearing, but not as good mid and high frequency hearing. This results in them being fit with an open dome. An open dome will allow into their ear canals natural low frequency sounds, but the hearing aid will actually amplify the mid and high frequency sounds and combine all of these inside of the wearer's ear canal. The bad news is, if the time delay between the natural sound that's entering into the ear canal on its own and the amplified sound that's being amplified by a hearing aid have too big of a time delay, then it can cause something called the comb filter effect. The comb filter effect creates distortion in an audio signal and is something that audio experts are very familiar with because it has the ability to destroy the natural perception of sound. So if your goal is to hear sound as naturally as possible, then you need to shorten the time delay between the original signal and the amplified signal when they combine inside of your ear canal. This is what pure sound with zero delay digital sound processing does inside of the Widex Moment hearing aids. This digital feature reduces the time delay between the original signal and the amplified signal down to 0.5 milliseconds. That's right, that is one half of one millisecond in order to prevent the comb filter effect from occurring. In a study published in the Hearing Review, they compared the processing time delay between the Widex Moment Pure Sound Pathway, the Widex Classic Pathway, and the signal processing of premium hearing aids from three different hearing aid manufacturers. You can see just how much faster the digital signal processing is with the Widex Moment Pure Sound Pathway at 0.5 milliseconds 
versus the three premium hearing aids from other manufacturers, which range between 4 milliseconds and 9 milliseconds. Now you might be thinking that if the time delay is that much shorter with the White X Moment hearing aids, then surely they're giving up some other digital signal processing that would improve your ability to hear in a complex listening situation, right? Wrong. In a separate study published in the Hearing Review, they compared the zero delay signal processing inside of the White X Moment hearing aid with two other premium hearing aids from other manufacturers that use additional digital features, including directional microphones, to improve speech understanding and background noise. What they found is that even though the White X Moment hearing aids, which would appear on the surface to be at a disadvantage, actually performed just as well as other premium level devices who used additional digital features to improve speech understanding and noise. So what do these two research studies tell us? Well, they basically tell us that in order to hear sound as naturally as possible and to eliminate the comb filter effect, you need to reduce the timing delay of the original signal with the amplified signal as much as possible. What these studies also tell us is that using a hearing aid with a very short time delay may be just as effective as other hearing aids that use a larger timing delay but more digital signal processing. What Widex has done to reduce the comb filter effect by shortening their time delay of their digital signal processing in the moment line of hearing devices is nothing short of impressive. So if you are in pursuit of that elusive natural sound from a hearing aid, you need to make sure that your hearing aids are fit and programmed correctly following best practices and that you have a hearing aid that can actually accomplish it. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.